I am Anil Kumar and now let us see the second question of this test paper. It is a quiz 2015 on rate of change. The question is real estate often increases in value over time. A piece of land is purchased for $35,000. After nine years the land is sold for $51,000. What is the average annual rate of change in the value of real estate as a percentage. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, right? Now, and then look into my suggestion. This question seems to be a very straightforward question since we are given the interval and the cost, right? So we say average rate of change is equals to difference of two values. Let me say FB minus F of A divided by b minus a right in this case the value has appreciated in nine years from 35,000 to 51,000 so we'll write here uh, sorry 51,000 right minus 35,000 divided by what nine years right so at times you could make a mistake here you may write nine minus one that will be a disaster. Starting year will be considered zero. Full nine years, right? So it is nine minus zero. So that is the first part. And you can, of course, calculate this value, right? So once you calculate this value, let's calculate this value, which is 51,000 minus 35,000, right? Equals to 16,000. And we'll divide this by nine. So we get this as equal to 1777.77 so that is what it is right so that is the average rate of change now let us read the question once again it says what is the average annual rate of change in the value of the real estate as a percentage so what we found is average rate of change per annum right because we divide by nine years right so we found that this is dollars per annum per year, right? Now the question is, as a percentage, how will you find as a percentage? Now, if you have to find average rate of change as a percentage, then what should you do? That is a critical part, which at times you may miss. So whenever you're trying to find percentage, then you have to see with respect to starting value, right? So it is that much average rate of change per annum. Now as a percentage, you have to divide this by original value, 35,000, right? And then times it by 100 to get the answer. And that is what is very critical. So that gives you the answer of approximately 5%, right? So that is what I wanted to highlight with the help of this example. So read the question properly so that you don't really miss and then, you know, that may cost you a lot of more as a percentage, right? So otherwise it's a very simple question, but since that percentage is added, remember you have to divide by the original value of the house and then multiply by 100 to get the percentage answer. I hope that is clear. Thank you.